For France, it was a Black Thursday today. Earlier in the day, French cities witnessed huge protests over the controversial pension reforms that the government has been planning to put into motion. Schools were closed, transportation was widely disrupted, chaos was in the air and the anger, frustration of people mounted exponentially. And this comes amid the soaring inflation and the energy crunch that France is currently beset by. The government of Emmanuel Macron calls these reforms part of a much delayed cost saving measures, but the common public does not seem to be impressed by this rationale at all. In the wake of this, France's eight main trade unions united against this last week, with many denouncing the plan as unfair. Today, we decode why are French citizens so livid about these so called reforms and why did they take to streets against these measures. But before that, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to One India. The protests and the plan are not incipient. In fact, the history of the current protest dates back to at least three years. The government had mulled increasing the retirement age a few years back but had to drop it because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Back then, the same proposals had prompted the longest strike on the Paris transport network in three decades. With the threat of COVID almost subsiding now, France wants to go ahead with that plan. This is the first time the trade unions across France have united since 12 years ago when the retirement age was hiked to 62 from 60. The new legislation, if passed, will require French citizens to work until 64 years of age from 62 currently to qualify for a full pension. Starting in 2027, a person will have to work for 43 years to receive full state pension benefits as opposed to 42 years now. As for the plan, from September this year, the regular retirement age will be increased by three months per year until 2030. Other changes envision increasing the minimum monthly pension allowance and counting maternity leave towards a woman's years of work. Those who started work below the age of 16 will be entitled to retire at 58 years of age. And there are other aspects to the so-called reform in the pension system. France actually has one of the lowest retirement age in the West. In the United States and the UK, the retirement age is between 66 and 67, depending on the year in which you were born. Raising the retirement age to 64 will keep France below the norm in Europe and in many other developed economies where the age at which full pension benefits apply is 65 and is increasingly moving towards 67. This would also boost the employment rate among 60 to 64 year olds, which is quite low compared with other European countries. France also spends more than most other countries on pensions. Nearly 14% of economic output is spent on pensions in the country. In 2019, it had the highest welfare spending of any country in the European Union at nearly 34% of GDP. That compared with 28% across the European Union as a whole in that year. And the reason for the French protesting against this is very simple. First, they don't want to be working for a whole one more year in order to avail the pension benefits. Recent polls have suggested that 80% of the population is opposed to pushing the retirement age to 64. Public sector workers who have been quick to resist Mr. Macron's reforms before are among those with the most to lose. New entrants will not be eligible for the special pension regimes enjoyed by their predecessors. And then, the increase in the cost of living and growing inflation has hit France very hard. Few months back, a strike by the refinery workers had choked the supply of fuels across the country. This had led to more increase in prices of already high-priced oils and gas. France had also released fuel from stockpiles onto the market and had imported large quantities from refineries in Belgium. But those measures did not prevent the crisis from deepening. Furthermore, Emmanuel Macron has an image of being distant and aloof with the common public and people believe his policies are made from an ivory tower. So, they are also skeptical of his intentions and hence, they don't trust this government to be fair or effective in the reforms they choose. This was all about the reasons why France is on the boil with respect to the proposed pension reforms. We hope you would like this new video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.